Hey, what's up guys? This video is hopefully going to be somewhat short compared to my other mass videos, but the last time I was in Hobby Lobby when I was looking for a stencil for a star while I was making my Texas flag mask, I stumbled across something that I thought was pretty interesting and I wanted to check it out. I was just curious to see if it would work, but it's this stuff. Basically, instant rust effect. And I know I've already made my rusted metal mask, so I really don't need this, but I did want to check it out and see if it worked. I just wanted you to see the process while I do it. Let's rock. That's one pretty rusted looking mask. Turned out a lot brighter than I thought it was going to, but still looks pretty cool. Just for curiosity, I went ahead and did a second mask, and this one came out completely different, and I'm much happier with this one, because it's nice and dark. I mean, this looks legit. If this thing weighed a couple more pounds, it would seriously look like a steel mask that had been sitting out in the rain for years and years and years and years and years. It's still a cool effect either way it turns out. Uh, you can see these were two totally different results. With this one, I applied my own primer, the Krylon, prior to putting on the primer from the kit. I don't know if that made a difference. I don't think it did because it never got to my layer of primer, but I also let it hang inside to dry. This one, I didn't put on my own primer. I only used the one from the kit, and then I let it hang outside to dry. I don't know how much of a difference that made. Maybe a lot, maybe a little. I know it's pretty humid down here. I pretty much applied the activator the same. I kind of was a little more sparing on this one, but then I ended up doing a solid coat because this one took a lot longer to go into effect. In fact, it took almost a day to even start doing anything. It was barely doing anything, so I applied more activator and it took another, you know, half a day to finally do this. So you'll get the effect one way or the other. And again, this is called Modern Masters Metal Effect Rust. Found it at Hobby Lobby for 20 bucks. So go get you some, see what you come up with for your own masks, or don't. It's up to you. You can always just pretend this video never happened and go on about your day. Either way, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.